Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. As always, like, subscribe, follow, all that stuff. Hey, look at him, he's carrying his weight. He's carrying his weight. Finally. Yeah, he finally <laughs> says something of, of use Fuck in you. these videos. Despite the, all the gun reviews, we are a real estate company. That's correct. Based out of, of Utah. A lot of different places. Phoenix. I'm in Utah. You're Louisville, in Phoenix. Florida. Where else? Uh, we got California. some spots in Texas, spots yeah. in California. Yeah, so I mean, pretty much our policy is, hey, look, if you need real estate stuff, We'll help your mom, uh, we'll help your cousin, your Tinder hookup. We don't really care, but most of our clientele is depends oriented. Depends on the Tinder hookup. True. D depends how much drama is going to be involved. Correct. But uh, generally speaking, uh, our clientele is a lot of military, law enforcement, hunters, shooters, outdoors, enthusiasts, uh, dog owners, stuff like that. You know, cat owners. Don't have a lot of cat owner clients. I don't want that client. To, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Thus far, not really our, our market, but, you know, we are we are bringing, let's see, this is video four in the mm -hmm. EDC bag series. Or, sorry, I'm sorry, uh, number five. This is actually the finale. Yeah. Four's yep. Vertex is number five. So, this is uh, kind of our, our big finale. And we've really, and the, the reason we've been, we've been going on in the order based on uh, price and it's probably not going to be a giant surprise to anyone that the cry precision bag that most of you by the way had no clue existed like no clue to be most. fair i didn't i'm a cry whore and i didn't know that this bag existed yeah. and to and by the way if anyone happens to in this point go like they're just reviewing stuff they like i scoured <laughs> the internet for every possible bag that would fit into this series and i picked my top ones yeah. so in terms of like why are they all good because I was either planning on some companies may donate one for the video, but the other ones I gotta buy. So I'm gonna buy shit that I want. This bag, fortunately, uh, Full Cry was yeah, Cry was nice enough to send us this bag, so that's cool. And there's a little Molly panel insert we'll talk about. So they sent us that stuff for the video, which is cool. And uh, Chris has been the primarily one running this, so yeah. for the most part, he's gonna kind of lead the dance on this one. Yeah. So I've been running this bag at home for three weeks and change. Uh, this is a bag I take to work every day. It's got everything I want. If, you know, whether I'm going to work, going to the store, whatever it is, uh, leave this in the truck and I got to run into a store. At least I know this is in there. Mm -hmm. um, they come in a bunch of different colors, which is kind of cool. Nothing terribly like tactical, just some flat colors. This is a flat Ranger they green. They do have a multicam, which in all honesty, fuck, that's cool. That bag See, and multi. I didn't know that. I've oh, only seen God. the two gray in this. That, yeah, they have a black, that green, that uh, the, the gray, which in terms of the most low profile, they have a, a light gray that is sleek. Yeah. It's, it's sleek, guys. The Ranger Green's probably the second most overt, multicam being the most, obviously. But man, yeah. I got to tell you, that bag of multicam. <laughs> Holy shit, it's do I want cool. that bag? Oh my God. Yeah. A couple, cool. hang on, a couple bullet points yeah. I'll, I'll yeah, hit yeah. you with. So price on this bag, just so you guys, because again, a bag that really no one knows about. Oh, and the name of the bag would probably help too. So this is the EXP 2100. Yeah. They've got a slightly smaller version. I think it's like the, four, I believe it's 1400. But uh, so it's the EXP 2100. Bag retails at 330. So yeah, it's it's pricey. And the little Molly insert in here is uh, 47 bucks. So, I mean, hey, you know, it, look, it's a pricey bag, but for some of us, uh, you know, you're just drawn to cry stuff. That, I mean, <laughs> you're just drawn to it. You pay for quality, and I mean, it's not like cry pants or $100 511 pants. No. I mean, they're, you, you get what they're you get what you pay for. Yeah. Cry don't make no shit. Yeah. And that should be on their website. We don't make no shit. Buy once, cry once. Yeah. See what I did there? So, mm -hmm. anyway, let's break that bad boy down. Cool. So, in this configuration that I have it, which is ideal setup for me uh just some you know numbers on it 1600 cubic inches uh 26 liters expanded because it does zip and mm -hmm. expand so you get more depth yep comes out to 21 cubic inches 34 liters and then the sleeper on this which you probably didn't know about maybe, maybe the maybe. bottom unzips and folds out so it's fully extended 50 liters yeah and then that brings it to a whopping 3,050 cubic inches. That's a big bag. The cool thing with that is you could fit like an SBR in there. Like uh, a, I got a 10.5 with the stock collapsed in that bag. Correct. It, My it, problem it, with that. Go ahead, because I think I'm probably reading your mind. It's not covert. Correct. If I'm wearing that around, uh, obviously with the way I look, yeah. someone's like, gun. Yeah. Gun in bag, yeah. probably a rifle. Yeah. Yeah, what, once so. you unzip the bottom, and, and we'll show you that, but once you unzip yeah. the bottom, definitely the covert factor is pretty much gone at that point. Yeah. Although you would be amazed how dumb people, I lived people in Los Angeles oblivious. for a long time and I've carried a lot of guns in and out of high rise buildings that I lived in and you'd be amazed some of the- What's uh, the statute of limitations on that? 
You good? I think everything I did was legal-ish. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. you know, like... Making sure. Yeah, everything's good. We're good. Another cool... Th yeah, just making sure, you know. Another cool thing with this is I obviously took it off because, again, it's a little too much. This Velcros, you can put a waist strap in there. So if you wanted to go on like a two or three day hike with mm. this and you're a minimal hiker, this would work. Killer. Um, it's vented in the back. So in Arizona, this is clutch because it's hotter than Satan's asshole down there. It's got vents. So if you're sweating, no big deal. Um, everything's double stitched, you know, bar tacked real well. Um, and mm. I, I really want to crack it open because I think people are going to be surprised at what's in here. Crack it. So just in this front pouch, it's a felt lined pouch. So you can put sunglasses. I throw my, you know, Keys, wallet, Twinkies, things like, like that. Like sort of non-tactical EDC essentials. Yeah. Good pouch for that. Little multi-tool. And this is the only external pouch, like as far as on the exterior of the bag, which again, like makes it more covert to mm -hmm. me. If it had a bunch of pouches and shit like that, you know, yeah. it kind of screams. Like another, there's no molly anywhere on the outside of the bag, Velcro, another, none of that. Yeah. Another nice thing is this carry handle. Mm -hmm. That's how I set it in the truck and how I get it out. And then I sling it onto the back, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And then let's just, we're gonna go little by little on this one real quick. Starting smaller, working bigger. Inside, the way I run this, and I'm pretty proud of myself, if I had to go overt, this is a little uh, overt holster that I set up. Threads onto my belt, leg strap, we're good to go. Which is kind of cool. Very cool. The Keep talking. Interior pockets, we're at knife, flashlight. Mm, tourniquet, little IFAC. Now the next part we have right here, I'm gonna surprise you because you probably didn't expect this. Maybe. A submachine gun BNT APC9 with a full dead air Sandman L that fits in there. No, that's a uh, uh, wolf. Oh, SD. that's right, wolf. My bad, yeah. my bad, my bad. Precursor to the wolf man. Yep, my bad. A little bit of a legacy. That is, but that's a full length can. Full length can. Full length. And can. it does have a short configuration, yeah. but it's not needed. Whew. Another thing too is I don't collapse my stock when I put it in here. Mm -hmm. My brace, sorry. I leave it to where I like to have it. So I could save an inch or two, which an inch or two matters. Yeah. So wouldn't know. Kind of kind of pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, one thing I did with this is mag pouch. It has Molly on the inside, so you can weave pouches in. So I threw a little pouch on the inside for a suppressor. Yeah. A short like a short can. Yeah. Like a, a Wolfman broken down, yep. a Silent Crow Mega 9K is probably going to fit in that pouch really well. Yep. So the cool thing with this is they sell that separate molly panel that we were discussing. It's this little plastic molly panel here. They have big slots for molly, so you can attach literally anything to yeah. it. It just buttons in, so you can pop it out if you yeah. want to. There's like little snaps in the kind of corners, and I think, and it basically just yep just snaps it in. in. Yeah. One thing I did with this, I'm pretty proud about this, is my EDC gun's a Glock 19. This runs off Glock mags. Mm -hmm. So I felt I put hook and loop on this Molly panel, oh, lined it. Okay. And the reason why is this, they ship with these little retainers so you can mm -hmm. strap stuff down. Yeah, I think there's like four or yep. so. Yeah, four in. total. Yeah. Um, with the hook and loop, I line my mag pouches with, with hook and loop. So if I had to ditch the bag but throw a mag on, this is a 33 round mag, right? With especially with the clothes I wear and everything, I can throw this under a shirt if I had to. If you're going over it at that time or like shit's popping off, you're not worried about it. But my idea was I could transfer everything in the bag onto my person and ditch the bag besides the gun yeah. if I needed to. Yeah. Which. Yeah. No. You know, I'm like kind of proud of myself for that. No, I'm, I'm liking it. Well, it's an interesting. Uh, you know, to call the ba the Patagonia bag uh, a, a philosophy it would, it would be completely incorrect because that's, of course, not a gun bag. But, I mean, if you look at that bag, there, there's a pro and a con to having, like, multiple good-sized compartments because yeah. no one compartment is that big. Correct. And this is basically one giant compartment with mm -hmm. a little bit of sectioned-off stuff here. And I would be willing to be willing to bet on the fly. We don't know how this is going to go, everyone. It does. I tried I it. I guarantee you a chest rig is going to fit in that. Yeah. So, right. So, like, you could get a full chest rig in, in that pocket right there, and that is, like, made for it, I have a feeling. And then, going along those lines, extended. Pow! It's like a condom for your gun. Yeah. No. Do you have that 11? Yeah. Here's a, another wild card on the spot. Come on. Come on, everyone. 
11 5. Uh, now keep in mind, you can side fold that. Ooh, you can. Mm -hmm. So, hey, My if bad. you got an SBR, that's an 11 5, right? But if you have a 10 5 or 11 5 SBR, let's just see if this bad boy will. Law go. folder. Guarantee it'll fit in, in long mode, no doubt. Ooh. Yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, it won't fit with the this not extended. Yeah, no, it's not. But, but I mean, that's an 11.5 with a chest rig that you could close. No doubt. Well, and what makes that cool too is what I thought about before you, you took it is uh, you could just have that as a rifle back for the range. Yeah. Like, honestly, because I mean, like, look, you can get an SBR in there or something, like jam your, your mags, all your shit in there. Like, that could just be a range bag. Say you switch out optics and you want to just go zero, you're taking 90 rounds. Yeah. It doesn't take that much to zero, relax, but you want to go to the range. Yeah. Don't want to take a rifle case, throw this in a bag, throw your ear pro in there, you're good to go. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, the versatility of this bag is pretty awesome. That's phenomenal. Um, I am a fan of this bag. And I was, you know, again, everything that I carry on a daily basis, my Glock 19 in a holster, appendix, everything runs off of this. So, mm -hmm. uh, oh, one thing. I yeah. think the back has a little. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So you can put hydration in the back or you can throw armor. Yep. So just side zips right there. And you can throw hydration. There's a follow through here for a hydration tube. Yeah. And then you're good to go on that. Like it, it, it's very well thought through, um, which is what I expect from Cry. I mean, that's. Not the a, name of their game, right? Well, it's not a shocker that Cry, hey, Cry made a good bag. It's almost like, well, duh. But it, 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 to me, part of the fun of that bag is, dude, I don't think anyone knows that bag exists. No. I don't think anyone is aware of that bag. Because you go and you buy your, you know, your G3s, your G4s, your combat shirts, you know, your, your normal Cry stuff and, it, you know, plate carries, all that kind of stuff. But who knew they, they had bags? I, I mean, it, it's just a really killer product. I, I think the idea behind the whole thing being essentially one giant pouch with a couple of smaller things for hydration and, and stuff like that really enables you to get a lot of stuff in it because you got a very big opening there. Yeah. And this, you know, <laughs> multi-use, this is what I flew up here with all my clothes in this week. Yeah. I mean, it, it'll fit five days of clothes. Yeah, well, which is weird because you're only here for two days. But, yeah, if you so. travel with five days worth of clothes for a well, two-day yeah. trip. i got to have different outfits, buddy. You do your thing. Um... Man, I was just looking to see if I had any notes on this thing, but not really. I, th I think we kind of hit it, you know? So, I mean, keep in mind, yeah, that look, that's a sub gun with a can on it. You could get an MP5 in there. You know, you, could get, a, you could get a lot of different sub gun related things. You could get an SBR if the bag's in the right configuration. APCK, oh, GHM. All day, all day. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, there's really a lot of options. Hey, for the discreet for the dis discreet purposes, Ranger Green wouldn't be my first pick on, on color, but... It doesn't, the only thing that's at all tactical-ish about it is the color. Beyond that, nothing else stands out. So, I mean, yep. you may be able to wear that thing actually in that color and pull it off. One thing too, Cry has uniquely placed emblems or logos on their clothes. Uh -huh. The only one I found on this bag is on the side here uh -huh. and then on the back panel here. Yeah, clever. So. Well, and frankly, you know, look, a lot of people are going to know what 511 is if you're walking around the mall and you got your 511 bag on. Correct. A lot of people know what 511 is. Correct. You kind of got to be in the know. To, I mean, sure, shit tons of people know what Cry is, but you have to kind of know like your a average, little bit. Your average shooter does not. So. Your average gun owner certainly does yeah. not know what Cry Precision is, and they know what 511 is. So. Yep. It's a it's a cool bag. I mean, for us, winter, hey, it's the most expensive. If you're on a budget, is it the bag for you? No. But, hey, look, if you like some pretty Gucci stuff and you want to Buy super, once, cry once. Yeah. You, you know, I mean, there, there's really nothing to nitpick on that bag. I mean, it, it's very, very solid. I'm happy with it. I mean, this is my go-to everyday bag. Yeah. So. So, I guess that's about, uh, that's about yeah. it. Yeah. I highly recommend it. You know, I'd purchase this on my own if it wasn't, you know donated donated to us so yeah i definitely spend money on that everyone we hope this bag series has been helpful to you we've brought you five bags that it's have been helpful a range. to me it's been helpful to me I, you know the the idea is we're going to keep bringing you these series where we pick a thing and frankly in many cases that thing is self selfish in nature aka like i knew i needed a new sling yeah and so we're like fuck it let's make a sling Slings. series and and then the the world is crazy we're like 
we need more shit on us. Let's make a bag series. So, you know, we hope you get something out of this. There's been a range of bags, range of prices from, you know, bags that would just carry mostly either a handgun or maybe a, like a Flux Raider or something like that. We've got sub guns, 11 fives. I mean, it's a pretty good host of, of platforms that you can carry there. And they're all discreet. They're all low pro. I mean, there's there's no winner. Or, I mean, there's no loser. All, all these were strategically purchased yeah. because they were going to be personal bags. Yeah. So I'm happy with it. Yeah. So we hope you gained value from this because we have gained value in delivering it. Yeah. You know? Well, you know? Just feel yeah, good about it. I feel you know, good about it. If, if tonight's purge night and you guys found our content and right before and got a good bag hopefully your purge night's going well purge away purge away everyone <laughs> don't youtube i'm kidding you jokes youtube we're kidding okay realistically well, whoever gets elected it could be purge night either way so it's going down either way okay yeah. like it, it, like it's all a shit show regardless so anyway go do your thing stay safe everyone hydrate stay safe uh, fucking lace up your shoes so you don't roll an ankle, all that good shit, you know, basic life stuff. Anyway, thanks. Thanks, everyone.